Hello guys, welcome to your 11th lesson in this Vue.js course and we're going to be looking at how to use icons in our Vue.js app and specifically font awesome icons. So let's get started. Okay, so there is still, the app is looking a little bit nicer, but there's still some things that we need to do, which is number one, we had an icon here and what if we want to add an icon? Uh, let's say it's not just this project, you want to add an icon, maybe you're building an e-commerce app, okay, and uh, you want to add icon for cards and there are a whole lot of things that you need icon for inside of your application. Okay, so how do we do that? We're going to make use of font awesome and the best part is font awesome actually has a nice documentation right here so the first thing we can do is we can we have to add the svg and then the icon packages so what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to come here and then i'm going to copy this now earlier inside where we um inside of our command prompt so i'm just going to paste this in and then install the svg call okay so that has finished installing then what i want to do next is install this okay so basically i'm going to come here and then um let's install okay so that is going to install all of the um font awesome icons one after the other okay so we have everything installed right here the pro packages no we don't have access to that all right so we've done that and i think the last thing is okay we should install these and then let's copy that also and let's also install this okay and enter so one thing to note though if you're making use of view 2 version okay you install these and for view 3 you, you make use of this all right so that's done and the next thing is right here if you look at the documentation adding icons with view all right so now this is for view 2 and this is for view 3 so if make sure you click on the appropriate one for it to work well and basically i'm just going to copy all of this i don't have time to start typing that one after the other so what i'm basically going to do is copy these and basically come right here and inside of this my main js i'm just going to paste this here all right and then the next thing is we actually have to register the app so we're going to say do something like this i'm going to copy this and then come here and put it right here okay so now one thing very important you should know that whatever you used to register this this string you use here is basically what you're going to use for your component and i'm going to show you what that means later on so let's save that and to actually add the icon to call the icon and there are two basic ways we can do that um we can either use the array or the string so the array or string so basically i'm, go I'm going to use the string i think that's i love that better and i'm going to come here to let's say for example the um app and i'm going to just paste that in all right let's see and let's refresh now we see that works we can see it right here and um let's see if we want to maybe add okay another icon so let's say we want to add fa and then let's say for example cat now we have to make sure that we register that app in so that the reason why we do this is okay we only import the specific icons we need to um actually help with performance optimization so that we just don't dump everything and register everything and our apps is filled with a lot of stuffs we don't make use of so i'm going to come here and i'm going to say f a um i think i want to use uh okay and it's going to import that and now let's see if we should have an order oh i actually wanted to hard for icon f a cat rather the okay f a cat and let's see f a cat shopping and i'm going to come back to my app and then instead of this i'm going to say f a user since we already registered that and then f a then cat then shopping all right let's save that and let's come back we can see the three icons added here and if i should inspect and it comes here we can see it actually renders svgs okay svg which is i actually love that's one of the reasons why i actually um love making use of svg um icons okay because it is way more customizable and has tons of advantages and another thing is which i wanted to show you if i should change this to font awesome 
i so you can actually customize this and i should save this we won't see it this shouldn't work again okay so that means if we want to call our icons instead we're basically going to do something like font awesome i so that's basically what we use to register it so that's the string that view recognizes so whenever you are registering any custom component any library be very careful be very aware of the string that is used to register that particular component and when we come back we see that actually works but i'm going to leave it to the um default and another thing is okay leave it to the default and basically what i want to do is these um icons okay i could leave this i want to add another icon which is fa then search okay so i want to i want to register that and that i'm going to use so let me just copy this i'm going to basically use that inside of our main header inside of this year inside of the input so i'm going to paste it there so let's come back here and let's see did we add that is that working okay no that's because we haven't changed this back to icon and inside of app.view also i'm just going to change everything back to icon and let's save that and we should see that's working okay um we actually want fa search and let's see now that works fine basically what i just want to do is i'm going to add a class okay and then i'm going to say the class i'm going to say font um gray and then i think i should use font red let's save that and let's see okay oh sorry that should be text gray okay let's save that and okay now that's looking a bit more subtle all right so that's that about adding of icons and specifically font awesome icons and in the next lesson we're going to be looking at data binding and the different um ways we can actually do that in Vue.js. so i'm going to see you there